And this is the most important thing that you teach, right? So is, is how is commitment and uh, how is commitment and victim connected? <laughs> uh, okay. okay. So. Commitment is a big part in our methodology because without the commitment I allow myself to be uh, how can I say Thanks. diverted uh -huh. by uh, whatever let's say uh, I am on a diet and uh, a small croissant what would be life if I don't eat one croissant? Is it life really worthwhile living if I don't, if I cannot eat a croissant? Okay. Commitment help you cut with your mind chatter, but there is more than that. But can I can I become victim of commitment? Absolutely. Oh, tell me. Most of the people take their commitment like an obligation. Mm -hmm. So what's it's the I have to. For us, it's a huge difference. But what is okay? it? So, commitment, there is a part that is the obligation. Uh -huh. But if I say, it's, if I decide that it is my choice to do it, let me give you an example. Yeah. Okay, I think with examples, it's easier to understand. By the way, I just got married. Congratulations. Thank you. So. You had a Zoom wedding, right? <laughs> I got the message late. <laughs> I, I was late in the wedding. <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> okay, so yeah. so, yeah. Okay, so I can say, now that I am married, I should not look for other girls. Yeah, I see people laughing. <laughs> yeah, it's not automatic. It's I, I may see. I am a victim because <laughs> I cannot anymore. Okay. Or I can say this relationship is really important for me. I don't want to spoil that relationship. So that's commitment. This is the spirit in which I do it. I am not a victim of my obligation. Okay? So commitment there is obligation mm -hmm. and in which spirit I do it. Yes. Which me is going to do it? The me victim or me or the me creator. But how would I know? Maybe now it's like I some moments I will be here, some moments I will be there. But each moment I, I remember that I have a choice. That I could be victim or not. And each moment I can say, okay, okay. Now you are victim? Okay. Do you want to stay victim? You can stay victim. But could it be like you got married and you should not look at other girls and... Uh, no, no, look, you can. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> but, and then uh, you say, you allow yourself and I am happy because she is not jealous. Yeah, so, yeah, but I'm just saying, it's theoretically, okay? So, and, so could, could the logic be like this? So, I got married, now I don't, uh, don't uh, uh, chase for other girls, not look only, chase no. for other girls, and then I say, I allow myself to do it, but then not do it. Yeah. Like, is that Absolutely. what you mean? The reason it's a clarity. Clarity. Would it help the relationship to do it? Then I do it. I know. I mean, I allow myself to do it. If I really think it is helping the relationship, why not? So, so this is being free. Uh -huh. Okay. But maybe in Arabic countries, it can help the relationship. In our countries, I, uh, it does not. 
No, what I meant is, and, and what, what I meant is, uh, could it be that, did I understand correctly, that commitment is when uh, different from obligation is because I stopped, I allowed myself, yeah. and then and I, I chose. I chose, yeah. Exactly. So that's commitment. There, there is also a third part. Okay. Okay. So these are part one, obligation. Part two, how do I do it? As a, as a gift, or a, in which, which me is doing it, the victim me, or the creator me. And the, there's a third part. And there's a third part, very few people use it. But you and everybody listening to the video, we have a power of creation. There are things in your life that you decided and they happened. Uh, I, can you give me extreme examples? So, so like I decided to go and buy a cheeseburger, okay, that's yeah. happened. No. But uh, you, you wanted to do, I think you wanted to do, uh, if I remember well, a, a publicity agency that was different from everything wh which was done. Uh -huh. And you did. And you went to 300 people, 300 employees. Okay? Then you decided to, to do films. And you did. Okay? So every one of us has this power to create. But could, do, do, do you have a connotation of something that is outside of your action of doing like I decided to have an agency and I made Sarke okay yeah. so I decided to have a museum I have a museum okay but can I decide that I want to can I decide somehow that well, I guess that can happen as well so can I decide that uh, I want to live in a better country and so suddenly country changes or can I even go farther and say uh, some magical things. So for me, it well, is, I, yeah. for me, it is magical. It is magical. It is even 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 if Sark, even a simple thing is magical. They, Absolutely. Ah. Let's say and, and this really, I encourage everybody to start small. Okay. Okay. How you can start small? You want to park in the old city, and there are cars everywhere. Mm -hmm you decide to create for yourself a parking space. Okay, that's possible, you say. You try. And if it does not work, you send me an email. I, I can put my email address. You know, uh, you know what? I would go home, and in Georgia, uh, on a, in the elevator, you have to put the 10 Money? Tetricoin. Have you, have you had yeah. that experience? And so I go home and and I'm at the entrance, I have to go up 12 stories, and I say, oh, in my pocket. You don't have change. No, no, there is a change appear. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, but I tried that yeah. many times, it worked. But you know what works? What happens is, if the change appears there, for me it feels like it has always been there. It, ha, 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 Maybe. That car, so, so what's the magic about it? But try it on cars, try it on different So, so after cars, what would be the next step? Well, you, you want to meet a person you have not seen since a certain time, and your phone may ring, or... Uh, but, okay, let me, give you, let, me, let me understand this correctly. Yeah. I'm really going to try. Yeah. Uh, start with the cars. Yeah. Because if somebody calls me, I'm going to be freaked out. Yeah. Is that bad? Right. So let's say, I'm, I'm sitting in a car, cannot park. Yeah. You know, I think I've done that. Yeah, I'm sure. We all have done it. But we... we but but we, what, what is it that you do? So, so... It's like, I want I, a I car. Am stressi I am stressing the point because we all have this power. We, if we decide, we can develop this power. It's like you go to the gym, and the more you do exercise, the more you develop. So, if consciously you decide to use 
your power of creation, you will develop it. Can, I, develop turn, it. can I turn stone into bread? I, ha in I have never tried. But I, I don't know. Uh -huh. I have never seen anyone do it. So I, I cannot say it's possible. But uh, that's a connotation of something as extreme can... Because I don't know. You don't know. But I, cars I know. and uh, spaces and your life yes. here works. Yes, and, and, and your, uh, the money you earn uh -huh. and the quality of life and meeting nice people and uh, Beating the happy. cancer. Whatever. Whatever. It does not mean it works. It, you know. Be, be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we said obligation, which me is doing it, and use my magic wand. So three parts. Yes. Well, that's the third part. Yes, the magic wand. But there is something indispensable. It's to let go of the result. Indispensable. Because I did not make the laws of the universe. But when you want something out of lack because you don't have it, you never get it. So Can you explain that a little bit more? I see a lot of people not having enough money that want more money. Okay? But the vibration is a vibration of scarcity. Scarcity. Yeah, scarcity, not having enough. So each time I say, okay, I am a creator, I want money, the vibration inside is not a vibration of abundance. It's, it's a vibration of fear. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I get more of scarcity. So I have to sincerely let go of the result accept my situation and when I accept my situation I am not in scarcity anymore a girl just sitting uh, before you uh, like was saying I mean her language was completely different of course but her ideas I, maybe she, her understanding of uh, what she was saying was completely different but was saying something similar to what you say she yeah, said she said try she also said try she said like uh, address the other girls that you say i am a woman every day and uh, she said just try like you said just try with the cars do you think her method makes sense i don't, I don't know, know. <laughs> <laughs> when well, she said like every day say i am a woman like for, yeah. for what what is important is not what we say uh -huh. but what we sincerely believe, where, where we come from. You and see? so you say, if I come from the need to get, why is that? But how do I know? Because my vibration is not having. But what is, what is vibration? What do you mean? Okay. I have the belief that we get what we want. Mm -hmm. You know the famous sentence, ask and you get? Yes. Ask and you get, I believe it is true. Uh -huh. If I am afraid to not have, let's say I am afraid to not find the right person, mm -hmm. or I am afraid to not be able to have sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I ask is this fear of I am not asking a relationship. What I, what I am with, what is my reality, is not having. Ah. So wh what, what I ask is my, my situation. I can say I want money, but what I vibrate is not money. I say vibrate, maybe it's not the right word. Well, it's not a vibration, but... And you do it without... Uh, that's important. You do it without expecting results, right? It's very important. Because if I want to take, 
does that work? I, I, let me tell you uh, an adventure when I was 18. I was in London. Mm -hmm. And it's a story of my little Swedish girl. Uh -huh. Before you got married. <laughs> I was 18 in London. I meet a beautiful Swedish girl. And I don't know about you, but when I was 18, my hormones were... I'm not saying it's not moving today, but really at 18 it was... So I meet this... Eight, and, and she was happy to give me the appointment, so I said, Good! Okay. And so we go to the park and we start talking and walking and, and I start coming closer and she pushes me back. So I think it doesn't work. But in fact, I wanted to take her. It's not that I wanted the relationship. I didn't care about the relationship. I wanted something else. Okay. So I said, it does not work. Never mind. Let's have a good time and let's talk. So we started talking. You know what happened? Slowly, slowly, she came towards me. So it's important to let go of the result. Mm -hmm. If you don't let go of the result, you don't give it a chance. It's same with the money, same with you look for a job. You let go of finding it and you get three offers. So let's say I do this whole museum thing uh, and I have, uh, I have to let go of why they did this, right? You have to keep wanting, wanting it, but not out of fear of not succeeding. That's a, that's a terrible uh, fear. Difficulty. Very difficult. Yeah. Because all our, we are raised, we do something to get something. We don't, acts of generosity, we are not taught to do it. We have to learn to do it, to do that.